Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about supervised learning versus unsupervised learning. Okay. We will see the difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Okay. So, as you all know, so we have two types of uh, learning in our syllabus that is supervised and then we have unsupervised learning, right? We have reinforcement learning also, but uh, that only we are going to see uh, this uh, theoretical part because it is not specifically mentioned in the syllabus, but we are just going to see this overview of it at the later part of the course. But we are going to more focus on the supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Okay. So now what is supervised learning, right? So as name suggests, there is supervisor, right? Supervisor means there is a teacher, right? Okay. Suppose I want to know this shape is circle right this shape is called a square this shape is this is line okay how do i come to know whether this is circle this is square this is triangle or this is line because our teacher has trained us to understand this type of shape okay when we are in the first standard or uh, nursery so like such type of shape so such type of question was there so this is circle this is square this is triangle this is uh, this is line right so what happens in the case of machine learning we have a model right so we are going to train this particular model right so how we are going to train this particular model we are going to give the input of this shape right and here i know okay this is circle this is triangle this is square this is line okay here we have a label data so this shape means circle this shape means triangle, this type of shape means square, this type of shape means line. So here we have a input also and here the corresponding output also circle. So our model has to predict if we given any random shape to a particular model, he uh, should be identify which type of shape is right, whether it is circle, whether it is triangle or what. So in order to train this particular model, we have to feed the input right and this is what our input is so this is our circle this is our triangle this is our square and line and we are all fitting this in this particular model okay so we have a label data here circle triangle square and there are thousands of such data for example for example there are many like uh, hundred of circles hundred of triangles hundreds of uh, squares hundreds of lines are there and we are fitting that in this particular model okay and we are saying okay if you got this shape it means circle if you got this shape it means triangle if you got this shape it means square so here we have the input also and this is the output also right so this is the output we want so in the supervised learning we know what so what is our target output right so here it is labeled data right labeled data so we know this is circle and also model has to predict which uh, which shape is this right so we have a label data or we can say targeted data right targeted data we have right so our model has to train we need to identify which type of shape it is right for that purpose only by training this particular model to identify the which type of shape it is right for that we need the shape and all and also what it is right it is a circle it is a triangle it is a square right so we are going to feed this particular data in this particular model right and what we are expecting if we put any random uh, shape to this particular model if i just input this shape so output should be it is a triangle right it is a triangle right so this is what supervised learning is so here we have an input that is shape and we and also we have an output Okay, this is targeted data or label data that is circle, right? We know this is a circle. Also, we want to uh, train this our model to understand this. This is a circle, this is a triangle, right? So, input and output variable we know, right? In this uh, supervised learning model, right? So, we have a targeted data or label data, okay? So, this is fixed. So, this is what supervised learning is. So, what it will give me? Suppose suppose i train my model based on this particular information and if i fit any type of shape to this right now if i give this as an input so it should give me okay this is circle right if i just give this line as an input okay it should give me oh sorry input so it should give me okay this is line okay so our model should able to predict which type of shape it is right so this supervised learning is also called as prediction model right prediction model right so this model is predicting okay what type of shape it is what type of shape it is based on the input provided to him based on the data which on which he got trained right 
So this is what the supervised learning is. So how we train this particular model? So suppose we have hundreds of uh, shape like uh, input, right? So we divide this data or we can say information into two types, more than three types. Okay. First one is training data. Then we have testing data. And then we have validation data, right? Suppose I have this hundred of circle, hundred of triangle. So out of this only I will use 70% of a data to train the model. Okay. This 30% of data I will check to validate our model. Okay. So because in this case I will know this is a circle. So I already know this is a circle, but I want to test this particular model whether this is giving me correct output or not. For that purpose only we are splitting the data, right? So if I give this as an input to a model, so it should give me this is a circle. Right. So this is what supervised learning is. So here we know the input and here and we also know the expected output that is targeted data we have, labeled data we can say. So this is what supervised learning is, right? Now in the case of unsupervised learning, what happens? Same model we have. Okay. Our problem statement is same, right? We are going to give the input same thing, like right? circle, square, right? Then line. But in this case, we I don't know whether it is a circle or a square. I don't know whether it's a rectangle or triangle, right? So here we don't have a label data. So it is unlabeled data, right? Unlabeled data, right? I don't know my output, right? I don't know my output. If I fetch this particular square, I don't know what is it, right? So this is what unlabeled data is. This is unsupervised learning. There is no teacher to teach this particular model to see, okay, this is square, this is triangle. There is no one to teach this particular model, right? So model is learning by themselves, right? So this, so this is unlabeled data. We don't have any targeted output here, right? So in this case, what will happen? We are feeding this information to this particular model, right? So what it, it will do, right? If we feed this type of information in this particular model, it is not giving, uh, it will not give me any prediction, right? It will try to identify the hidden patterns in this particular data hidden patterns in this particular hidden patterns in data right so for example if i take this as an input this round shape this triangle shape this uh, square this line i don't know what is it right because it is unlabeled data we are not labeling it that it is a square it is a square circle or it is a line we are not labeling it it is unlabeled data so what this unsupervised model will do it will write to form a group of such things right it will try to form a group of such that is clustering of such data so it will collect all the square at one particular place it will collect all the triangles similar uh, triangle at a particular place right it will collect all the square in that a particular uh, at a particular uh, place okay so it will form a clusters of such shape okay it is it will form a cluster of such shape so it so unsupervised learning is used to find out the hidden patterns in a particular data because we don't know what the expected output is in the unsupervised learning, right? So that's why we can say it is a clustering type of model, right? Clustering. We have a clustering uh, concept here. So we'll discuss about that in unsupervised learning. But I hope you understand what is the difference between supervised data and unsupervised data, right? So here in the case of supervised learning i have okay this is my circle this is my triangle so we are feeding this as input to our model so we have a label data here so if i give this circle as input it should give me okay this is a circle what about this unlabeled data i don't know what type of shape it is but i am still giving this as an input so model is trying to uh, analyze what this type of shape is right so what it will do it will try to analyze the hidden patterns so it will form the clusters of similar patterns right so square on one side circles on another side so it will form the cluster of such patterns so this is what unsupervised learning is okay okay so i hope you understand this particular concept so that's it from this particular lecture in the next video we are going to discuss about so in the next video we are going to discuss about regression and classification okay of unsupervised or of supervised learning okay so we are going to discuss this in the next video okay so that's it thank you